Now let's move on to the post-purchase flow. And the first one that we will be looking at is the customer thank you first purchase. So this is a very, very important flow that often gets dismissed either completely or it doesn't really get much attention in terms of what exactly the new customer should be receiving. And the reason why it is a very important flow is that it really can help you decrease returns and increase repurchase rate. The person has just placed their first order with you and they might not fully trust you yet. They do trust you a little bit, but we really want to prevent that buyer's remorse and we want to support them and build connection as they are waiting for their order. We want to keep the excitement about the purchase by creating that good post-purchase experience. Because as you know, the product and the quality of your product is very, very important. However, the experience of the post-purchase journey is also very important. So we want to make sure that by the time they receive their product, they know how to use it. They are still excited about it. They know that other people love it so much as well they feel the part of the tribe maybe of your community that way if everything is done correctly this flow can really convert those one-time buyers into two-time buyers what i often see the brands have in place of their customer thank you flow is just one email that you know in a couple of days maybe sends a discount to everybody regardless of whether they place one order or five orders and we really want to avoid that and we want to personalize as much as possible their post-purchase journey. So the flow filters are pretty straightforward. This is a flow only for people who placed one order with you overall time. So we want to set up the following filters. They have not been in this flow at all. They did not cancel order since starting this flow and they placed order just once. And they place order zero times since starting this flow. So if at any point in this flow they purchase again, they will move to your two times buyer flow instead and they will exit this flow. Now let's move to content and time delay. Something that I recommend you test is the time delay for that first email. I've seen different results. Some people like to send this first email 15 or 20 minutes after they make a purchase. Sometimes I see a lot of success with the one day time delay for the first email of this flow. So this is completely up to you. I think it might even depend on how your transactional email looks like. If I had already include that thank you and some information about your brand, maybe you can hold on and actually send your first email one day after they actually placed an order. So this is a great split test that you can do for your brand and see what works better. The first email is a thank you email where you want to thank customers for making that first purchase. You want to acknowledge that. You want them to know that you know that this is their first purchase and that you're excited for them. If you want, you can do something like a note from the owner to give it a more personal feel. Email number two, you can send in one day or two days. Something to note here is that time delays should really be adjusted based on how long it will take to deliver your order. If for example, it takes two weeks to deliver that first order. You really need to spread out those emails and to make sure there is no contradiction between what they receive via emails and where their order is at at that time. I worked with a hand-blown glassware brand and their shipment times usually took about two to three weeks until the order just got shipped and then another week to actually receive the order. So one of the strategies and one of the very important things there was to make sure we keep customers excited about the order because of that really, really long wait time that they were going through. So what we did, we were telling them about each process in the glass making and we were telling them where their custom made piece was at to keep that excitement and to make sure people are still excited when the order arrives. So make sure to adjust those time delays. So email number two is meant to build excitement about the purchase and maybe share a social CTA. So follow us on Instagram or Facebook or whatever that is for your brand. One of the things that you can say here is like, we know it's really hard to wait for your order. Join us on social media where we show how to style our pieces or how to use our pieces and where we have the supportive community. So anything like that, kind of like to make the wait easier. 
in few more days, email number three. If there is something that you need to explain your audience about how to use your product, this is a good opportunity for you. If there are some frequently asked questions that you know you get a lot from your customers, answer them before they ask them. If there are some tutorials that you want to share, also link them in this email or add all of the necessary information in this email. In a few more days, if you have a loyalty program and if they are not a member yet, ask them to join loyalty program. The flow filter here would be enroll date most likely. And if the enroll date is not set in the properties about someone section in the conditional split, then you can send them that invitation. Again, this is optional. If you don't have it, keep it. Include something else. If you have some donation efforts, maybe their order is making a difference or their purchase. So you can share to make sure the customers are excited about that purchase. In a few more days, after they have received their order and they're happy about their order, you can start pre-selling. So if you want to pre-sell new arrivals, so maybe best sellers would be even more suitable for first time buyers do so here, maybe showcase what's trending this season, maybe add some new reviews or some user-generated content, and this will be your pre-sale email. You can also include something like, hey, make sure to check back tomorrow or check back soon for a special treat from us. And after that, you will deliver a discount in the email number six, where you will again highlight those new arrivals or bestsellers with the discount. It will be a limited time discount to add that urgency and to make sure that your brand feels valuable and they need to rush in order to get the discount. And it will actually expire in a few days. So you want to send them a last chance for discount email. In a couple more weeks, maybe even sooner, depending on what the content here would be, you want to either send a review request or maybe a request to tag you on Instagram, depending on what your strategy is there. You can also deliver this email at different time based on whether this is international or US order. I will show you how to do that later. As you can see, this is a longer flow. There is a lot of information that you need to include here. There is a lot of handholding that is happening for the first time buyers. So I really suggest you take the time to brainstorm and build out the content for this flow. I also have a few examples that I wanted to show you. So this is email number one for the post purchase one x buyer flow. This is a personal note from the founder where he shares about the impact that the customer helps make, offers some help if any is needed, and also includes some user generated content and the purchase and power. Great email. You will see that some conversions will again happen when this email is sent out. So there will be a lot of attribution even to the first thank you email of this flow just because of how personal it is and because people are most inclined to buy again from your brand when they first showed that trust. So like today they made an order, tomorrow they're very likely to buy again or even today just because they are already trusting you at this time. So use that opportunity to convert them to two-time buyer. Another email is a how-to email where the brand Nude is sharing some tutorials on how to apply their product so that people don't say they don't work after they actually receive them. A lot of effort is made here to really encourage them to check out the videos on how to use the product. There is also another email that is being sent out from this brand that gives some safety guidelines. So it really depends on your brand what exactly you need to be sending. And another email is a cross-sell email for the first-time buyers. What we want to do here is provide them a discount on the next purchase if they still have not placed an order in this flow before. So you will again see that there is acknowledgement here of them being a customer already, that this is not just a random campaign, but we are saying that we hope you're loving your new clothing as much as it's making a difference and we are offering them another discount. Ideally, you want to send a separate email for men and women, highlighting different products for them. And I have another email from a brand, Fungus Head, where they are sharing about how to take care of their spores. Again, to prevent that it didn't work, the spores were dead. We want to make sure people know how, what to do with their product when they receive it. 
let's now look into Clevio and I will show you how to build this post purchase flow in Clevio. Let's go to flows, create flow. You can either create from scratch or you can take a flow from the library. This flow has both repeat customer and new customers. So I will delete one of those, but okay. Now we have this framework. We will add some flow filters. What someone has done or not done. Placed order zero times since starting this flow. And what someone has done or not done. equals one overall time and cancel order zero times since starting this flow and has not been in this flow at all at any time. Save. Now you will build out your emails. Everything is pretty straightforward here. If you do want to set up a split test to figure out what works better one day or 15 minutes, you can add a conditional split with a random sample and just change this to 15 minutes. You can choose a time here if you want to choose a specific time of the day or you can simply do one day from their purchase. This is up to you. And then you will just build your flow. You'll make sure that smart send is off. You will add as many emails here as you need. I suggest to have at least six emails in this flow to really give that journey to your customers. And then in the end, I promise I'll show you how you can split your US and international customers. I only have Canada here, but let's say you have US customers, you will be able to select US. So if properties about someone country equal Canada, you will only wait for, let's say seven days to send your review request email. If you are delivering internationally, your time delay would be longer for that review request. So you'll do something like 14. Sometimes there are different ways that Clavio names the country. So it can be US, it can be USA. So what you will do, you will click on or, and you will do properties about someone, country equals US. And here you'll have USA. If, for example, you have men and women products, you can do a conditional split as well. If most of your audience is female, then what you will do you will say properties about someone, gender is likely male. So if Playview is like, okay, likely it's a male, they will receive a male email and then all of the rest of emails will be going down the female path because you know that most of your audience is female. I don't have the gender here, but you can also play around with that. Okay, excellent. So that would be it for your one expire flow. If at any time somebody makes a purchase, they will move to your 2x buyer flow and we will talk about that flow next.